Hi everyone, I'm Amy from Cakes With Faces and today I've got a roundup of Christmassy things and things that are going on for Christmas in Japan this year, 2019. Advance warning, there's going to be a lot of cute things and a lot of cute food. It's going to be in four sections, Christmassy food and snacks, kawaii characters and merch, winter illuminations and then just general events and things that are going on. There's New Japan videos on my channel every Thursday if you want to subscribe. I've got lots of new travel vlogs coming up and tips to help you plan your trip to Japan. So let's get started. First up we've got cute food and we're starting with dessert, specifically ice cream. Roll Ice Cream Factory specializes in rolled ice cream. They have a branch in Harajuku as well as other places in Japan and it's really popular. They often have quite long queues. What they do is they spread the ice cream on a frozen plate and then they kind of scrape it up into curls and they've got some really cute Christmas specials. They've got ice creams with Santas, reindeer and snowmen and they've got special snowstorm cups that look like they kind of have some sort of dry ice in them. And at another ice cream place there's these special ice creams for Christmas. There's a Christmas tree with green ice cream, Santa in red and white and to go with Santa, there's Rudolph with a special reindeer shaped ice cream cone. They actually have this the rest of the year too, so if you're not there at Christmas time, you can still have one, but for the rest of the year, Rudolph is a unicorn and you can choose accessories to personalize it. The shop's in Tokyo, it's called a Saksa Tsuno Koi and it looks like it's pretty much made for Instagram. They've got a wall of flowers to pose with and a patchwork unicorn. At the Kawaii Monster Cafe in Harajuku, there's a special menu for Christmas and like pretty much everything else there, it's extra colourful. There's this crazy looking reindeer cake, which looks like some kind of reindeer monster, which I guess is right for a monster cafe. And the dessert in the pink bowl is monster pet food. It's actually served in a pet food bowl. The Pom Pom Purin theme cafe has some very cute Christmas specials too. Now it might not look like it but this is actually a cheese curry and Pom Pom Purin looks very cute with his little Santa hat and this dessert with a little Christmas tree made of icing. Now you probably know this already so I'm not going to go on about it but in Japan for some people Christmas dinner is KFC. It's all a trick from the KFC marketing department who managed to convince people that roast turkey translates into fried chicken and the kernel is a bit like Santa. Now I don't think everyone has it, but you actually can reserve your Christmas meal on the KFC website. So let's see what they've got. Here's a nice Christmas meal of fried chicken, shrimp gratin, gratin, shrimp gratin, triple berry tiramisu, and it comes with a special Christmassy KFC souvenir plate. Convenience stores are also cashing in on the fried chicken for Christmas trend because you know everyone loves fried chicken from the Convini, the convenience store. Family Mart is one of the main chains of convenience stores and they've come up with the abbreviation Fami Kuri. Kuri is like Christmas, Christmas. Fami Kuri, which makes me think Coco Curry could do Coco Kuri, Coco Christmas. Does it work? Maybe that one doesn't work. Christmas cake in Japan is strawberry shortcake with really light sponge cake, whipped cream and strawberries. It's actually delicious. You can get it all year round and they have it for birthday cake too. At my favourite cake shop, Cozy Corner, they've got the traditional strawberry shortcakes and a whole variety of other cute Christmassy cakes. They all look delicious. So on to the second section, kawaii characters and merch. Sumiko Garashi are a series of characters from San X and everything they do is super cute to the extreme. There's a new character for Christmas called Tsuri, who's a Christmas tree. I think the name is supposed to sound like tree. Tsuri, tree, three, maybe. You can get this Christmas set with all the characters gathered around the piano for some Christmas songs. There's also a special plushie of Neko the cat with a trumpet, so maybe he could join in too. Now I don't know if you're into Sumiko Garashi merch, but they have these little mini plushies and you can get houses for them. I've got this Mount Fuji with a tin can house. It took me forever to decide which one to get. They were all so cute. I thought the Fuji would be a nice souvenir of Japan. And for Christmas, there's this Christmas tree house. So Tsuri, the Christmas tree, has been turned into a house. 
and a holly wreath box with a little window so you can hang it on your bag or on a door handle and the plushies look so cute looking out. Hello! And Sanrio, the company that makes Hello Kitty, has some special Christmas merch too. There's these snow globes, which aren't particularly Christmassy, but I really like how Karomi's one is kind of Alice in Wonderland themed. And for some reason, Cinema Roll's one has a London bus. Now, I don't know much about his backstory. Does he come from London? I thought Hello Kitty lived in London, but I'm not sure about Cinema Roll. There's also these mini round plushies in red and white festive attire. I'm not sure about the one for Gudetama. He kind of looks like he's in The Handmaid's Tale. And I found a couple of Christmas gachapon. There's mini Christmas cloaks for your plushies or figures. This one's got cat ears and a tail. And these Christmassy mini backpacks. This one looks like a mini slipper, I guess for putting your figures or plushies in. And this one's from a previous year's Christmas. It's a Christmas version of Fuchiko on a Cup. This woman is a character called Fuchiko and she always has gachapon that you can put on your cup or sitting on things around your desk. And this is the Christmas version. She's dressed as Santa. She's got some kind of strange Christmas tree outfit. And in this one, she's had a few too many drinks. It looks like she's gonna fall in the cup. Next, we've got winter illuminations. Now, Japan has amazing winter illuminations. They're not just for Christmas, but they start around this time of year. And some of them carry on until about March or so. I caught some in February in Tokyo. You can see them in my Shinjuku night walk video and my tour of Shinbashi. The best ones I spotted in Tokyo for this year are at Tokyo Midtown. They're called Starlight Garden. It's got a space theme and there's all these floating and glowing bubbles. I think some of them are balloons and some are actually soap bubbles. There's 190,000 LEDs. It looks stunning. But I think the best winter illuminations are outside the city. At Sagami Pleasure Forest, they've got Illumillion with giant diamonds, light up flowers, and a chairlift going over a whole rainbow of lights. Yomi Uri Land, Yomi Uri Land is a theme park about an hour from Tokyo on the train, and they've got dual illumination. There's magical trees with so many different colors, tunnels of lights, snow tubing down a kind of giant light up disco floor, light up fountain shows on the water, and parades with lots of glow sticks like a J-pop concert. Basically, everything is covered in lights. And when I say covered, I mean completely covered. Finally, Christmas events. This year I've noticed there's lots of Christmas markets in Japan and they all seem to be German themed. Now I went to Germany once for a Christmas market and it was just like this with all the wooden huts and glue vine, mulled wine and pretzels and things. And the ones in the UK are just the same as well. So I'm wondering, does just the whole world go German themed when it comes to Christmas markets? As well as the Christmas markets, there's some less conventional Christmassy things too, like this. Infinity Santa. You know there's mirror rooms where it looks like things are going on forever. Well, this is one of them, but it's full of Santas. Now you can't really get that much of a good look at it from this photo, but it sounds like it could be kind of creepy. Would you want to go in and be surrounded by Santas everywhere? At Tokyo Midtown, there's a Christmas tree made of 1800 Santas and they're all different, which I think is quite an achievement to find that many different Santas. Now, because Tokyo Midtown's quite an upmarket, classy shopping mall, it's actually quite stylish. It's not as tacky as you might think. Now, I know you'll be pleased to know that fish won't be missing out on Christmas. There's festive events at the aquarium too. At Sunshine City in Ikebukuro, they've got divers dressed as Santa. I wonder what the fish get as presents. And there's a display of shrimps in red and white festive colors. And in one area of Tokyo, this year, Christmas is Star Wars themed. There's displays, illuminations, a theme cafe, and a kind of futuristic space age Christmas tree. There's a kawaii Christmas Star Wars mashup with Chewbacca. And at the theme cafe, which is a limited time pop-up, so it's not gonna be there forever, you can get dark side pasta, and the mashup style combinations get even more strange with this taco rice. Now, taco rice is a dish from Okinawa. It's got all the ingredients from tacos, but on rice. So here we've got taco rice, 
that's Star Wars themed in the shape of a Christmas wreath. Merry Christmas! So I hope you've enjoyed this roundup of Christmas in Japan 2019. We've had Rudolph ice creams, rainbow chairlifts and shrimp that look like Santa. Have a wonderful Christmas, whatever you're doing, whether or not it includes infinite Santas or a Star Wars Christmas wreath made of taco rice. And I just want to say thank you for watching my videos this year and for supporting Cakes With Faces. Really, I wouldn't still be doing this or making my designs without you. I've got lots coming up for next year, both for my channel and for my designs. There's some big things coming up for Cakes With Faces in 2020. And there's one more video left this year. So I'll see you next Thursday on Boxing Day. Have a good Christmas. Bye bye. Oh, 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 oh,